Hi everyone, my name is Brett Ari Fisher, also known as the New York City Broker. Today I'm going to share some tips with you discussing what is a condo questionnaire. And remember to contact me if you're looking to buy, sell, rent, or invest in residential or commercial real estate in New York City. A condo questionnaire is a comprehensive form or questionnaire about a condominium building. When you're buying a condo with a mortgage, your lender will send this condo questionnaire to the sponsor, if they are still managing the building, or the condominium manager to fill it out. It includes the following. Basic information about the condominium, such as whether it's finished or still being developed, questions about common charges, what they are now and when they were last increased. This is useful information for buyers as well. Amendments in the original offering plan, building's original and revised status, whether it started out as a condominium or something else, and financial information about the building, and how many people living in the building own condos, and how many are renting them out. Every lender has their own questionnaire, but most of them cover the basics like financials and legal troubles the building may have seen. So who uses it and why is it important? The condo questionnaire is used by the mortgage lender to determine how safe the investment is. When a bank gives you a mortgage for a condo, that condo is their collateral. So if you can't pay back your loan, the bank needs to know if selling the condo will allow them to make up their losses. But if your condo is in a building that has poor financials or legal troubles, the bank or your lender may not risk lending you money for it. Many lenders are working with their own money and assume most of the risk by themselves, and they may have more lenient requirements for a condominium building. But many share the risk with Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac, which have their own requirements for mortgage lending. Mortgage lenders consider condos riskier than single family homes because those homes come with land, which has its own value. So they look at the financial health of the building that the condo is part of to make sure its value will rise with time, not fall. So how is a condo questionnaire important for a buyer? While a condo questionnaire is used by the lender to screen the condominium building, the result of this impacts the buyer. Because even if the lender has approved you, they won't give you a mortgage if they don't find the building you're buying a condo in satisfactory. So you either need to find a new condo or a new lender that would approve your current condo. It's usually a lender that has already lent money to other home buyers in the same building. If you are taking a mortgage from a lender who already knows about the condominium project and has their updated details on file, the process would be much smoother. Also, you, the buyer, will have to pay for the property manager or sponsor to fill out the condo questionnaire. It's usually somewhere between $200 and $300. Thanks so much for joining me in this discussion regarding what is a condo questionnaire. If you have additional questions, please feel free to reach me at brett at the New York City Broker.com. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so that you, your friends, and your family members can get all the best real estate content. I'm Brett Ari Fisher, the New York City Broker. Have a great day.